first set, what was the problem you had? And was there any doubt whether you'd make the, the match instead, following the quarter-final? Uh, um, well, I, I thought I was going to make it, uh, to be honest. Um, I went for a scan that same night and it was all right. And uh, after that, I just, uh, well, we didn't push it, you know, I didn't practice. I took a day off uh, the next day. And um, then today, I just really rested it until uh, as late as possible. But I didn't have any pain um, in the daily stuff. That was a positive sign. Um, you know, the way I also I felt that the fifth, you know, was in some ways encouraging. Um, compared to the second and third, what I, I had in, in the in the match of Sangren. so I felt like I was always going to make it. And um, the timeout is just uh, one of the things uh, that needed to be done. Needed to be done, I thought, you know, to also prevent any further problems. And once in the match, I felt like I was probably going to be able to finish, which was a good thing. Well, there's been quite a bit of talk about his serve improving in in recent weeks. Now. Now that you've kind of experienced it firsthand, do you, do you go along with that, and do you, do you think he's possibly getting even better? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've I've played Novak on some days, obviously, also when he's he's very tough. Uh, I'm, I don't know if he was. Uh, I didn't hear the talk, to be honest. Uh, um, but yeah, I, I heard that he was uh, hitting bigger on the second serve this this tournament. But then again, you know. Uh, that just takes guts to do that. We know that his first serve speed. Um, today it's hard for me. It's, it's it's tough measuring stick to be quite honest. You know, uh, uh, but yes, I mean he has definitely had a bit of ups and downs throughout his career with his serve, and right now it looks very good. You know, um, he did have the problems with double faults at some point. He did have the elbow issue when he did come back. He didn't hit his spots very well, and now he's got them all back and uh, and looked looked very solid. So yeah, credit to him to get that done. Well, in the early part of the match, and how do you think he was able to turn it around? Uh, well, I mean, I was playing with nothing to lose, obviously, and uh, I was just trying to take uh, big cuts at the ball, trying to keep the, the rallies to uh, to a minimal, and um, make sure I, I keep him off guard and uh, mix it up as much as I can. And I think I returned very well in the beginning, and you know, I got good, got some really good connections going. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to serve it out. Uh, to be honest, had had, I feel like I sh should have found a way to do that, but I uh, wasn't able to. Uh, but we know how tough he is, especially when you give him too many second serves, and uh, and, uh, and obviously it was better on the day today. It's no question. Novak uh, on court said, you know, you were obviously limited in your movement tonight, but uh, knowing what the injury is yourself, how 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 long do you think it'll be before you're 100 percent again? Don't know. Um, my feeling is uh, rather quickly, um, to be honest. Uh, um, I hope I'm somewhat fine for South Africa. That's something I can somewhat, you know, control. Um, but then, of course, you know, you want to be 100% to be able to train again and then get ready for, for hopefully Dubai. But right now, it's only guessing. Um, I'm very happy that I don't feel any worse than when I started. That's for me. Super encouraging. Um, yeah, so I think we'll, we'll go from there and we'll, we'll see if I need to do another scan or not. Yeah. Um, what are your sort of overall feelings about the tournament? Because it's been a bit of a wild one for you. Yeah, I mean, look, overall, look, uh, at the end of the day, I'm, I guess I'm very happy. I got to be happy with what I achieved. I think it was the maximum to go uh, to get at this tournament, especially after the Milman and, uh, and the Sangren match. Um, Today was uh, horrible, you know, to go through what I did. Um, nice entrance, nice send off, and in between, it's one to forget uh, just because you know you have a 3% chance to win. And, um, you know, kind of go for it. You never know. Uh, but once you can see it coming that it's not going to work anymore, it's, it's, it's tough, you know. But uh, no, I'm look, at the end of the day, I'm very happy. I think I, I, I overall played all right. I know I can play better, but at the same time, also I know I can play much worse. And there's no tournaments beforehand. I think uh, it's it's a very very good result. What's it like mentally or emotionally going into a match with a three percent chance to win, like you said, against Djokovic, who's so good here and a best of five? I mean, that can't be a familiar or fun feeling to you to feel 
that little hope? Been there before. So um, I've had a few matches throughout my career where I felt that way, and it also happened the same way. Um, better that than zero, tell you that. London was the worst, you know, having to go apologize to people for not being able to walk properly, you know, uh, in the finals there. Um, so I'd rather have this, to be honest. Take uh, in mindset to you know always try. You don't retire. You go on court. You know you you're not going to win. What's the mindset to do this? Because you've won so much, it must be frustrating in a way. Yeah, it's frustrating. But like I said, I don't think I would have gone on court if I felt like I had no chance to win. And we saw I was still being able to make a match out of it. And who knows, maybe how he feels as well. Um, he's a great, great player. We know that. And he makes it hit balls. He serves well. He returns well. He moves well. Um, he's mentally very tough, so there's so many things that can cover a problem if there were one, you know, maybe there's nerves too, and, uh, and I'm sure there, he was maybe feeling a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning, um, so, but he was able to find a way there. Um, so, like I said, I did believe there was something that could be done today, and also I must have felt like uh, at least um, it was probably not going to get worse, and if it did, this would have been my first retirement uh, today. We did talk about it with the team, you know, how bad is it allowed to feel and all that stuff, but uh, it would never went there, so that's good. But you're playing careful, obviously. Roger, what are the chances of this being the last time we see you here at Melbourne Park, and how confident are you of challenging for the singles title next year? Uh, no idea. Same, same as last year. You never, never know how what the future holds, but uh, especially my age, you don't know. But uh, I'm... I'm confident. I'm I'm happy how I'm feeling. To be honest, uh, I got through a good, nice training block. Uh, no plans to retire. So from that standpoint, uh, we'll see how the year goes and how everything's with the family and uh, how we go from there. So of course, I hope to do that. Do you still have great ambition to win one more, two more, three more Grand Slams and believe in yourself? You can do it. The question is. Do you still believe in yourself you can yeah. win one more or two more Grand Slams? Yeah, I mean, yes, I do believe that. Um, I think by having the year that I had last year and uh, also with what I have in my game and um, how I'm playing, I do feel that, yeah. Against uh, Wimbledon on the tournament where you think you have more chances and uh, tell us something about the the match for Africa, how much you are involved, how happy you are to do it, and <coughs> what, what's new, and I knew that the journalists, some couldn't get media credentials because it's too late. <laughs> You're asking me for help, or? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me know. Um, yeah, I mean, look, number one, I'm very happy. Uh, obviously, this match for Africa is really finally happening. It's been a dream of mine for many, many years. Um, It's unfortunate that it's taken this long, you know, but you know how it is. Life on tour sometimes is what it is, and uh, I couldn't be more excited now that it's actually really happening, and I really hope I'm going to be fine to play. I believe I am, but we'll see. Um, also, that Rafa is willing to do it is, is exciting, of course, to say the least. I know my parents are very happy, very proud as well. Um, I'm sure it's going to be very, uh, very special for me, you know, many levels to play there. Um, Besides that, we're going to have so many people there as well, and we really try to make it accessible for a lot of people to come and not make it just a high end, you know, just a wealthy and make try to print money. That was not, never the idea. The idea was to have a fun, fun evening for everybody, and I think we we're going to be able to achieve that. Um, and the other question was Wimbledon is the best chance? Probably Basel or Halle. <laughs> Less matches to play. Thank you. We're going to report to our team. Yeah.